Hello, Tony Roy from Into Pickle, and we are Pickleball. In this video, we're going to answer a pickleball strategy question that we got from a viewer involving Respect the X. Specifically, the question was when the serve team breaks the X on a short return of serve, should the shot be hit to the player at the no, at the no volley zone line or to the returner who's still in motion? In this video, we're going to give you the answer. All aboard! If you're not familiar with the Respect the X strategy, I'll link to a video up here that you can check out so you learn about respecting the X. It's a really important concept to understanding the flow of the game. It'll help you improve understanding who on your team should hit the next shot. Even if you've seen the video or have heard about Respect the X before, highly recommend you download our free strategy breakdown. You can visit wearepickleball.com. I'll link to it below and get your free download of the Respect the X strategy breakdown to help you really understand this concept. Let's go to the board and lay out the question that was asked and then I'll give you the answer. So basically we have, we have the blue team up here is the serve team. The yellow team is the return team here or the receiving team. And what'll happen is you'll have the serve here and then you'll have the return coming back across like this. So we're gonna have a short return of serve in this case. The blue team, both players are right-handed players in this example because they're gonna be breaking the X. The X basically looks like this in this situation. You have the return of serve traveling in this direction, right? So that would mean along the X that this player should be the player to hit that ball normally. There are situations where you can break the X, and this is one of them, if you have a better attack shot by this player on the forehand side. So what happens in this case is because it's a short attackable return of serve, what will happen is this player will come over to take that shot. So this player will come over here with the forehand to attack the short return or serve and take advantage of it. At the time that the, this shot's being hit, this player is likely in motion through this zone here. So the question that is asked is, should this shot be hit to this player at the no volume zone line? And more specifically, should it be hit at the player's forehand, which is a common attack technique. It's a, it's a good attack technique normally, when you're attacking somebody, if you hit them towards their, their hip, their dominant hip, assuming this player is right-handed, you would go to the, the right hip. If the player was left-handed, you go to the left hip. Again, very common, not common, but a very effective uh, attack technique when you're driving the ball. So the question is, should this shot be hit to the forehand side of this player? Again, assuming it's a right-handed player, it be right here. Or should the ball be hit to the player who's in motion, assuming that both of these players are roughly the same uh, level? The answer is that you should normally hit the shot to this player. Uh, and I'll go through why in a second, but you're gonna to wanna to hit the ball here rather than hitting it here. And there's a few different, there's a few reasons for that. One reason is by hitting the ball here, you're taking, uh, it's, a, it's a less risky proposition than going here. Uh, if I go, if, if I hit this ball from here to this player, if I hit it really hard, like whale on the ball, good chance that ball is going to go out. So if this player is it understands the game and I hit the ball really hard at that player, a lot of times this player is simply going to let that ball go and, and just you lose the opportunity. You've given up an opportunity that you have. The other thing that can happen is if I hit it to this player, if the player volleys it, A, they, can, they might be able to pass me, right, this way for a winner. In, if I hit to this player, what happens to this player? This player is allowed then to move forward, right, to come up to the no volley zone line, curing the problem that this player was in when the player was back here. So your better technique is if you take this ball and you hit it towards this player, that allows you and your partner, your partner should be moving up with you at the same time. So when you're hitting the ball, your partner should be around here. That allows you and your partner to then move up to the no volley zone like this, basically putting pressure on this player on a, and on the ball. And then what you're trying to do is set up a situation where the next shot is gonna be your put away shot. Rather than trying to hit it, win it in one shot here, you're gonna try and win it in two shots by going to the player who hasn't made it up to the no volley zone line. What you're doing is taking advantage of a positional disadvantage, if you will, that this player has put, him, put themselves in by not making it up to the no volley zone line before you hit the ball, by hitting that short return, pinning this player back, making it up to your no volley zone line yourself and your team, and then putting the ball away, hopefully in the next shot or the shot after that. So the answer to the question is, if you get a short return of serve and you're breaking the X like this, whether you should go here, here, the statistically the better shot is going to be to go here and set yourself up to win it on the next shot or the shot after that. Understanding the X and respecting the X in most situations and knowing 
when it's appropriate to break the X, can really help you and your partner understand who should take what shot when and really improve your results. As I mentioned earlier, check out our Respect the X Strategy Breakdown. I'll link to it below. Get that free download, understand the X, and improve your play. Good luck out there.